you know, to get checked As out. he waits to be tested in a brain injury study, Dan Hoff shows Dr. Michael Lipton photos from the Iraq War. Oh my God. May 16, 2005. The day his platoon was ambushed by two roadside bombs. So what happened to the guys in this vehicle? Everybody walked away. Really? Dan walked away too, but not before being knocked to the ground and suffering a concussion, also known as mild traumatic brain injury. A major problem that is faced by concussion and mild traumatic brain injury patients in general is that these people look externally very normal yet they may have profound problems functioning. Dan, a combat engineer, continued his job of clearing routes of improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. But he started suffering from disturbing symptoms of concussion, which continued even after he returned home to Ohio. If I don't write things down, they may not necessarily get done, because if I rely on just my memory, I, I can't rely on it, it's not reliable anymore. Now, at 35, Dan says these and other symptoms like headaches and sensitivity to light prevent him from working in law enforcement as he did before the war. And when symptoms affect interactions with his family, he explains it to them like this. This isn't because of what you guys are doing. This isn't because I don't want to be with you guys. It's because I have had these injuries and these things that have happened to me that are preventing me. Dan wanted answers, but conventional tests, like CAT scans, cannot visualize damage in most people who have mild traumatic brain injury. That's why Dan and his yeah, younger brother, Nick Hoff, decided to travel to Albert Einstein College of Medicine, where Dr. Lipton uses a highly specialized type of MRI called diffusion tensor imaging to visualize structural changes in the brain. Whenever you see a triangle, you're gonna press the left button. In a study Dr. Lipton is conducting, veterans who've had concussions and their brothers who were never in combat are compared with each other. The study is supported by a grant from the Resurrecting Lives Foundation. Are you can adjust the goggles, make them fit your face. Okay. The team images the brothers' brains, conducts genetic tests on their blood, and cognitive tests to measure brain function. Dr. Lipton explains that while currently available therapies can help people to compensate for functional problems, there is no specific method or drug to biologically fix the deficits. So by seeing specifically what is going on inside their brain, we're opening a window of opportunity that allows the patients potentially to be able to see or be shown that there is something truly wrong with them that explains their symptoms, but it also allows us as researchers and as clinicians to identify targets for therapy. Dr. Lipton expects to have preliminary study results later this year. Meanwhile, Dan is looking ahead. He's returning to college with the goal of becoming a veteran service officer so he can assist vets to secure the benefits that they've earned.